Conduct of WLWT News 5. Danielle, thanks so much. A man convicted of murder almost 30 years ago will get a new trial. Elwood Jones has always maintained his innocence in a blue ash woman's death at a motel room, but prosecutors stand by the original guilty verdict. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick joining us after hearing directly from prosecutor Joe Dieters. Hi, Brian. Yeah, hey, Mike. Well, Elwood Jones could be getting his day in court a second time. Now, he has always maintained he is not guilty, even after he was convicted back in 1996. But prosecutors say they got the right person the first time. So today, Jones was in court again. This time, Judge Wendy Cross ordered a new trial. She said prosecution withheld evidence back in 1996 that there were more than 4,000 pages of evidence like witness statements, police reports, hotel logs that the judge said were withheld from the defense. This information the court believes could have proven him innocent. It's what his family's been waiting for for 27 years. My mom is gone. She believed in what he was saying all the time and so did we. But they kept saying, no, he's guilty. 27 years, now he's going to get a new trial. Who does that to somebody? Who does it? Now, prosecutors disagree with this decision. Jones was convicted of murdering 67-year-old Rhonda Nathan, who was a guest at a Blue Ash Hotel where Jones worked. Prosecutors said Jones, who had a previous criminal record, was clearly guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Found in Jones' vehicle was a piece of the victim's jewelry. One prosecutor say was so unique, it was like a fingerprint. Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieter said 10 judges have already looked at the exact same evidence and the conviction that Judge Cross did and found it to be solid. It's gone through the state system. It's gone through the federal system. The issues that Judge Cross rested her decision on have been decided by the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals, the federal court, at the district level and at the Court of Appeals, and all were rejected. Yeah, Dieter said that Jones' attorneys shopped this around until they found a sympathetic judge. Their next step, they'll uh, file an appeal on this at the first district court of appeals. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.